flinging pieces of ALSEP across the lunar landscape.
Okay, Houston, I'm coming up on Bench Crater right now. I looked off and left out. And I'll get you a pan in Bench Crater. This looks like a very interesting crater. It's different. Oh, and I see some really different rocks. A big one. Now this one is fresh enough so that you can see, like you say, some of the rays. It's relatively fresh stuff here. Yeah, you better believe it. Pete Nelk, we have an EMU check. It seems to be. Oh, it hit some something solid there. Well, I shoved it in. I used all my weight, Houston, and shoved it in about seven inches. Now, I'll just pound down it while we'll see what we can do. Very good. Well done. Have you gotten the uh, panorama? Get the panorama. Uh, no, I'm going to get uh, Al to do that right now. He's using my camera. His camera's had it. We got a nice brown surveyor here, Houston. Yeah. Even the uh, the tanks, which were well, yeah, raised the visor. It's not so brown, but it's and the glass is still on the top. Not a bit of it is fractured. Yep, yeah. amazing. Okay, two more tubes on that TV camera. And that baby's ours. Probably the most spectacular crater we've come to, I think. First, it just this, this original crater took it down to bedrock, and I guess more recently than this one came in here and really banged it out. These blocks are a lot more sharp cornered than any we've seen anywhere else. Yeah, yep, throw a ladder I come. I hope. I hope. 